So here we got a continuation of the review on the uh, Water Farm 8 kit. You'll see I set this up outside. Uh, a lot of you guys are going to be doing it indoors, um, but uh, I'm doing it out outdoors. Um, the only issue with that is that uh, basically the system runs on air, and you're going to have to keep your your air pumps. Uh, the new Water Farm kits actually have the recirculating feature built in. Um, the older ones don't. You can get a, a, another kit that will actually retrofit and make it recirculating. Um, before, it used to be basically that it was all gravity feed. Um, and that's one of the things that we'll talk about today, which is some of the mistakes that, that even I made, uh, and I've been doing this a long time, um, I hadn't used the water farm system before, um, and I've got a couple comments about it. Um, so here we go. Um, as you can see, you can connect these basically any way that you want. Um, if you're doing, if you have one of the new systems, it's going to be recirculating. So in whatever way you lay out the pots, um, there's going to be a, a, a flow uh, to it. So they have to be interconnected from one to the next to the next to the next. Now that can be in. Uh, you know one two three four and then four coming back this way and then the return goes back into the into the, the controller unit uh, in this case I've got all eight in a line um, so each one of these are interconnected and you see the blue tubing there um, I actually had to get some see this black return line here this black return line is coming from the last bucket um, and I had to get that because there wasn't enough tubing to do a nice long stretch like this. Um, so it's just standard half inch tubing. And the way that this is working is that there are two air pumps. Now what I did to protect the air pumps from the elements, because obviously they're not waterproof, is I actually have a, a three gallon bucket inside of a five gallon bucket. So there's actually a space in here between here and here that's hollow. Um, that's where the air pumps are living and I drilled a hole in the side and put a grommet there um, and then you'll see I've got the electrical cord running in through the bottom so even if it rains on this thing um, the electrics are going to be are going to be solid um, you got to come up with something like that but your local hydro store probably has or Home Depot probably has a, a three gallon and five gallon bucket so you could do the same thing that I did uh, and again you know have your electrical components live in the hollow between the three gallon and the five gallon. A um, couple things that I didn't like. Um, you'll notice that I have taken the drip rings off of uh, the units. Now normally there's going to be a ring connected. This will be turned this way and there's a, a full circle ring. Now the problem that I had with that is that um, yeah, it was, it was watering around the periphery, but it wasn't, these are brand new, you know, from starter plug um, uh, plants. So basically the, the hydrogen in the center wasn't getting any water. So, which is kind of crappy and the ring takes up the full space. So basically what I did is I took the ring off and now I've got just the head firing. And as you can see, it's, it's firing directly on the root system. Um, if that wasn't done, these things would die. Um, so, you know, that's a little bit of, you know, obviously you got to figure out, figure it out, do it yourself. Um, as these plants get a little bigger and their root systems go into the hydrogen out of the, uh, the starter plug, we're going to be able to put the rings back on and it'll function as it's supposed to be.